Hey guys, how's it going? Brandon here for RC Flight School. In front of me here, I have the brand new Mosquito from eFlight, or Park Zone if you prefer, same company. Uh, this is a bind and fly model, another one of their micro series, and this is a scale micro. So this is modeled after a full scale plane. Uh, the Mosquito exists in real life, it flew in the war. It's kind of a unique plane. A lot of plane guys are going to love this because of the history behind this plane. The real version is made out of mostly plywood, so this one being foam isn't much of an upgrade, but you know, as E-Flight goes, they built this extremely well. Let's take a look. Once again, as with all their E-Flight products, very well packaged. The, the case kind of serves as a carrying case. It kind of doubles as one. They have it molded just perfectly to hold these planes still for you. So when you're in transport, no chance you're ripping a wing or tail off. Nice foam blocks here to hold it down. I'm going to see if I can't get the tape off. Our local hobby town in Germantown hooked us up with this. They had them in stock. Once again, we see something like this. We just have to have it. Again, E-Flight really trying to protect the paint. They even have a little bit of plastic wrap to cover the paint job so it doesn't get rubbed on. Let's pull her out and take a look. Oh, beautiful plane. I'm going to quickly take out the battery and charger so you guys can see that too. All right, set the plane to the side, give you the quick rundown. This is just a tiny single cell, 250 milliamp LiPo, real small. That's all you need for a plane of this size. It fits right in the nose, and then they got to do this, actually it's a decent little LiPo charger. This thing you can control the charge rate from 0.1 amps to 0.7 amps. Um, start and stop, it'll take 6 to 12 volts input. They give you the optional plug so you can plug it into the wall, but in the box included are alligator clips for your car. They're assuming you're going to be out at a field somewhere, so they give you the, that kind of power supply. But nice little charger. It's a smart charger. Plug it in, forget about it. It'll stop when the light post charged. Let's take a look at the plane. Now, again, I said the battery goes in the nose. They have a nice little magnetic hatch here that pulls right off. Again, I love, I'm a big fan of magnetic hatches. It's just a quick, simple way to get it on and off. Hold it securely for you. Um, they have a nice long strip of Velcro kind of tucked in the nose. It'll be hard for you to see. But what this allows us to do is change the position of the battery to change how the plane balances out, change the center of gravity. Uh, a lot of pilots like to play around with that to get a better feel. If you're more into acrobatics, you want to be able to get weight towards the rear. If you want it more stable, weight towards the front. So again, a nice extra feature. You can slide it around and tune that. Put this back on. You can see they've done a lot of work to make this look as scale as possible. So we have small little exhaust ports here on the side to mimic the real engines the small little machine guns coming out of the nose the little hatch even has two little seats in it we got a little canopy on there and of course full detailing full paint job and all the decals that go with it um, what i really enjoy on these are the landing gear we have a full workable landing gear and the tail wheel is steerable so you can taxi this on the ground take and land take off and land just like a real plane now you'll notice the biggest thing with this type of plane it's twin motor um, what does that mean to us? Well, tons of power, tons of power. This thing has plenty of power. Go vertical, sport acrobatics, no problem. These props spin in opposite directions, just like this, just like the real plane. What that does is counteracts the torque of the one prop with the torque of the other, so you don't have a tendency to want to roll, to spin with the torque of the props. So again, counter-rotating props, real scale, real authentic, a nice feature. You'll notice this plane has a ton of wing area, so this thing is actually quite, a, quite pleasant to fly. I got a chance to fly one of these before uh, we unboxed it today, and I was very impressed with uh, how stable they are because they have so much wing area. So again, awesome, awesome plane. Nothing more to say about it. We're very happy with it. I was happy flying it. We're going to get a chance to shoot some video for you guys so you can see just how well it flies, put it through its paces, do a few acrobatics and whatnot. We're looking forward to it. So if you guys have any questions, comment below. Tell us what you think. We're curious to see if you have any questions or comments on the plane. If you've flown it or have any recommendations, let us know. We're here to help each other out, so post below. Let us know what's on your mind. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys soon.